Hey, hey, it's me, Shaky. I hope you're all doing well, feeling good, and are ready to play as Sweden in Vanilla Hearts of Iron. For one of the true good guys in this adorable world we live in, even though Sweden is home to the company that makes the game, they surprisingly don't have too much content for their own home country. I guess it makes sense, considering Sweden wasn't really involved in the conflict, but either way, we'll finally be shining the spotlight on Sweden that it deserves, because it can make for an interesting playthrough no matter what happens in the world. We'll be playing with historical focuses with a few small exceptions. First here we will find Turkey and set Turkey to go down its communist path. Then we will find Australia, I wish these were alphabetical, and we'll set them to go down their fascist path. We'll set Britain to go down its Mosley path. And last but not least, we will set the United States to go down their communist path. But besides those small changes, everything will be completely historical and this will make for a fun Sweden game where we can do great things like take over the world or for the Kalmar Union or proclaim Nordic unity, we can do something, I'm sure. It'll it'll be fun somehow. We'll start off with this bizarre event that's always disturbed me, but now it's gone forever so we can start managing our Swedish economy. We'll be making everything here in the country of Sweden very cute. As for equipment, we will want some heavy machinery that we don't quite have access to yet. We'll be fitting out our tanks with turret high armor plating that unfortunately will cause our tanks to take years to produce, but it'll be worth it. In the end, it'll just take a very long time to get there. We'll have to build up our economy a lot. We don't have too much of an army to manage at first. It's fairly big compared to almost every other miner in the area, but it isn't big enough that we can consider ourselves a major player just yet. And we just have the generic focus tree and we'll be doing industrial effort. As for research, we'll be doing pretty standard stuff. Nothing to get excited for. Of course, we'll get to the heavy tanks soon enough. And perfect one focus done, we'll move on to more industrial focuses. Notably though too, it'll take a very long time for the special paths we set to manifest themselves. Mosley's England, Communist Turkey, Communist America, and Fascist Australia all our paths that take years and years to affect the game when you set them to go down those. Especially Communist America, and I believe Communist Turkey takes quite a while to get to here. And these countries really like doing a lot of other focuses. So a lot of those interesting things won't really affect the game too much, which is kind of good for us because then we can plan out our strategy better. First, I will take this division off of um, Gotland because we, we really don't need that, that this island to be defended. It's not gonna get invaded. And if it does get invaded, that's just a very easy way way for enemy divisions to be preoccupied with defending the island so that they aren't focusing as much on more important fronts. So it's a win-win for us if someone takes that island and then we don't have to defend it. Our main enemy is most likely going to be Denmark and I think we start off with a better navy than them. Yeah, quite a bit better. So we should be able to land in their ports and take them out. The thing is though, we might not ever go to war with Denmark. We may just invade German occupied Denmark, but not join the allies so that we can directly take control of their land and Norway's land, assuming that Germany takes control of them. Because if you look at the decisions to form the Kalmar Union or proclaim Nordic unity, you only have to control the states. So we can just take the states from Germany that Germany took from them and then get cores on all of them. Either way, we might just have to invade them the regular way. We're also building up infrastructure. Since we have four empty slots here, building up infrastructure will be worth 
worth it so that when we build these four civilian factories, we have a 40% extra infrastructure bonus to building them. So that'll be enough. The rest of our states can get better infrastructure through the infrastructure effort and infrastructure effort too. So we won't go too crazy on building up infrastructure. Also infrastructure is cheap, so that, that makes it even more worth it to just get building that up out of the way. And you may ask why I'm not building the infrastructure in my capital. That's because the capital is already full, so we won't be able to take advantage of any construction boost. If that's even still a thing in the game, they might have taken that. And Britain, it looks like, has done a change in course, so that's good. They will start going down their path. Don't know what Turkey is doing, and America obviously hasn't got to a point where they can increase communist support yet. They and they haven't even done continue the New Deal, which they'll have to do that, and then suspend the persecution, and then wait forever. It takes a very, very long time for them to get started with the communist but yeah, as you can see, we're really making cash by trading our resources. We are exporting eight tungsten to Czechoslovakia. We're exporting a total of 40 steel to five different countries, eight each and no chromium. And the tungsten will continue to sell better once the war starts and Germany needs to buy a lot of it. So it's important that we as Sweden do excavation one and excavation two and excavation three. We'll also, I know, want to build up infrastructure in our capital after all, eventually, to get that extra steel. And we'll definitely want infrastructure way up here to get extra tungsten. But the infrastructure effort focus may randomly give us infrastructure up there, so I don't want to build any yet. We will simply hope that the infrastructure randomly goes into that state. As for our navy, we'll be spamming out cruisers, nothing very special other than that. And the UK is moving along nicely. Black shirts organize in the United Kingdom. We'll wait a little bit longer. They still have a bit to go, but they're gaining influence at, at a crazy rate. Also, the Spanish Civil War has fired. This time we'll be getting an English Civil War too, so we will have two theaters to watch pretty early on. And I guess Japan will do their thing, so we'll have plenty of distractions while we slowly build up our country. Let's see, where are we getting infrastructure? We're unfortunately not getting it in the right state. So that's kind of sad, but we can build it up manually or we can do infrastructure two and hope infrastructure two randomly chooses the right state. And we now are going to go on to the legendary trade law, free trade. We're going to be getting a lot of factories. We went from 15 to 16, which I guess is kind of a humble start, but that'll be getting better soon. We'll just manually build infrastructure up there too with our one factory that's not building the sieves. Hopefully though more people will buy our stuff later on. We're already selling a lot. And of course, now that we start building infrastructure there, now the focus is going to build it in the right state. We've wasted a little bit now, but it doesn't matter too much. We'll be getting three for free with this focus, so that'll max it out. And we will start excavation one already. Nice timing. It pays to be neutral and sell goods to everyone, even though everybody else buying from us is also kind of neutral in the conflict. Looked. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Great, and now we have max infrastructure in our state with a ton of resources, and we will move on to getting our extra research slot, just so we can research the excavation technologies even faster. Hopefully we'll be able to get research slot two. That'll require us to get a bit more factories though, but that won't be a problem. Hmm, and America did continue the New Deal and elected Alf Landon. I, I keep forgetting the weird things it does 
Want well, set to go communist? Yeah, it'll never get old. And we will now do naval effort. Not because I want to build a navy. It'll be useful later, but it's not useful now or anytime soon. We just want the three naval dockyards because dockyards are factories and we happen to need 50 factories. So yeah, China here, it looks like, is importing steel, but they're not importing our steel. They're importing Soviet steel, so I'm going to improve relations and send an attache to them and hopefully they reconsider who they're buying steel from because almost everyone in the world who's buying steel is buying it from us so we need to make sure that trend continues by improving relations with everyone yeah, I guess Finland is importing steel from nationalist Spain which isn't good so we will improve relations and make Finland happy and buy our steel too and now we will go go on to partial mobilization which will let us build factories faster and use more of our factories. We will do liberty ethos too which is kind of a weird focus to do when you want to restore the Kalmar Union but that's just how things work. Also I know France is set to historical but since Britain is led by Oswald Mosley They've formed the little entente regardless. Mosley notably doesn't side with Germany though, so we won't be getting an overpowered Germany. And we're the only country in China with an attaché, so we'll be getting a lot of experience from this. We also did get the attaché sent 10% war support bonus, which is why we were able to go into partial mobilization. I would send volunteers too, but as a democracy we can't do it and we don't have enough divisions. Anymore. Anyway. And it looks like with historical of course national Spain is still winning regardless of the other settings that we had activated like with Britain forming the British Empire in America having Alf Landon in charge while simultaneously suspending the persecution and such. I guess it kind of makes sense because then the communist support can be a reaction to the conservative president. I, I, I don't know I'm sure there's some way to justify it though. We'll continue building factories though, now military factories since we have so many civilian ones. And Germany took Austria, the British Empire is falling apart for now, it may be put back together if Mosley is competent enough. And in April of 38, we have over 50 factories as Sweden, so we can now do extra research slot too. We're also still building lots more military factories, soon we will have a very powerful military economy, much better than any of our neighbors by far. But even with these exciting developments, I think that's about where we'll end it for today. I I'm sure there'll be a lot more interesting things that will happen as we continue our playthrough. Hopefully we'll be able to take over Norway, Finland, and Denmark by some means, even though we're democratic. I I'm sure we will. Thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you lovely people next time. <laughs>